Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, I want to show you a couple holsters. Um, I think a lot of times you get tricked into buying the cheapest holster, like something you see on eBay, like the polymer holsters that scratch up your guns, or the uh, the Sherpa, which I'm just not a big fan of. I just think it, it scratches the shit out of your guns. Um, I like leather holsters, but I'm, I'm you know I think in a lot of ways I like the way things used to be. Yeah, well. It is what it is there. Uh, I like old time leather holsters. And this was the first holster I bought for this new gun. And this was a Clement, Clement, I, I have a tough time saying it, Clement Custom Leather from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And this one's actually shaped exactly like the gun itself. Um, they put like little metal uh, phony guns in there and, and formed the leather around it. And this, on this side here, you can see it's absolutely perfect. But on this side here, you see the trigger there? Yeah, you would tell that was done by hand. That didn't match exactly the way the trigger was. But uh, it's a great holster. It's an out of the pants holster. I'm just not big on in the pants holsters. Um, and this is what you call, a, well, a lot of people call it a rig. And rigs, rigs are cool, but they can cost you a lot of money. Uh, depending on how thick the straps on, on the rig are, uh, you can go, you can go all the way up into the seven, eight hundred dollar range for a really, really good rig. This is a Galco rig. Um, this I originally bought this for my Beretta 94, um, and that was, man, that was like 14 years ago or something like that. And uh, it is a great rig. Uh, the rig itself holds, holster itself holds your firearm. Um, it has like suspenders. Um, uh, as a retention, it, 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 you wear it just like suspenders, and it, it's actually really, really comfortable, and it's made really, really well. I originally saw um, recently uh, the Galco holsters on Weapons Education Channel, and uh, I thought it was really cool, uh, and they're, they're actually selling it on their website now. Um, when I when I originally bought it, 160, 180. Almost, almost, it was almost $200 when I bought it. And this is for long magazines and short magazines. So you can go like that for your larger magazines, where in this case, I uh, trimmed it down. I was having a tough time finding a, um, a holster that would, in a rig, in rig form, other than that uh, synthetic uh, cheesy nylon crap that you see on eBay. I was having a tough time finding a real quality holster. And I said to myself, self, self, what I said was, this is what I said. <laughs> I said, you know what, Kev? I'll bet you that um, Galco holster for the Beretta originally would probably fit the Storm. And uh, with, with some small modifications, it, it absolutely did. So let me show you what I, what, I, what I came across here and what I did was, what I did was, I love Galco holsters. I just think they're, look at the stitching of this thing. Huge and thick leather, and it's made in America. Um, I was never really sure what this was for. I think to hang keys on or something like that, or, or, or to clip it to your pants. But um, the holster itself, snap it off, pull the firearm out, and uh, there was a bolt here and uh, it was too tight for the gun to get in. So what I did was I removed the bolt and I added my own uh, button on there. And I used a, a Harley Davidson button uh, from a Harley Davidson vest. And I, I fastened it on there with a, this is called a, a snap button attacher, if that makes any sense. You can buy, like a lot of times on leather stuff, when the button goes bad, uh, you're screwed. You gotta take it to a leather guy. But uh, for, 45 cents you can buy the button and of course seven dollars you can buy what attaches the button so the bat the button imagine it being like a funnel right and the wide spot this will be the top of the funnel and this will be the, the spigot to the funnel what you do is it comes in two pieces uh this will be the wide part of the funnel and what you do is you take the attacher and you connected to the, say, spigot end of it. it I'm, I'm trying to make it simple so you, you, everybody understands it. You're going to the narrow end of it. 
you put this in there and you hammer it down and it flattens it up and seals it in place. And that way, A, you get a really cool button. Everybody likes a Harley button on their, on their holster. And uh, B, you can do it yourself, not waste a lot of money. Um, it's made so well. And like I said, this has been quite a few years and it looks like, almost like brand new. It, what a great holster uh, Galco makes. And it doesn't come from Korea or China or Vietnam. It's an American made holster. And a lot of people say like, you know, $160, $180 for, for, for a holster is, is a lot of money. No, well not really, because a holster like this will last a lifetime. Um, and the thing is, you see with the snaps here, if the snaps ever broke, which I, I highly doubt they will, um, you can just replace them. You know, it's not a big deal. And cosmetically, you can put on there whatever you want. In my case, I, I went with the, uh, the Harley Davidson. I, I ride a Harley, so it, for me, it was cool to put the, uh, the Harley uh, snap on there. So, and like I said, it, it was hard for me to find a, a decent holster uh, for the, uh, the PX4 Storm. You know, and now I have the uh, the the old Galco. I love this Galco. It's really comfortable. The leather is really uh, supple and smooth. The part that attaches to your body around your shoulders is really it doesn't bind you or uh, crimp you or give you like goofy uh, indentations in your skin. And where it has to be thick, like uh, the holster itself and the mag pouches, are extremely thick. And if I could recommend a holster. Um, I would say the Galco. The Galco is a really cool holster. The Klemeth, uh custom leather holster is really cool too, but I like holsters that have retention uh, to, to hold them in place. So this was my uh, solution to that problem. Originally, um, I had posted a video uh, to the Armory channel when uh, Pete got the uh, M9. Uh, I was going to give him the holster uh, for uh, an Armory channel t-shirt. But uh, I never, I never got back. We just never got in touch. I, I maybe I missed him or something like that. I got a lot of emails, and I, I didn't get, I didn't get, get that email. But I, so in this case, he missed the boat. But in a, in a cool kind of way, it worked out for me because I ended up getting a really cool holster, which I originally had. Like I always say, I hate throwing away shit. If I have something, I would not throw this away. I said to myself, self, don't throw it away. Someday I'll use it. You'll either buy another um, Beretta or. Uh, you'll find something that'll fit in there. In this case, I did. I just made some modifications. And if, if, I, could, if I could give recommendations to people, I, I know I got a lot, to sh a lot of shit to say to people. Um, try and do stuff yourself. Uh, instead of just throwing your money out the window and buying new, new, new all the time, if you have something that's old and it's perfectly good, why not adapt it and, and make it uh, fit your new firearm? So that's my short video on holsters. Uh, I'm no expert on the holsters, but these are some holsters that I really dig. And I know this one is a very comfortable holster, but I don't like the fact it doesn't have it in retention. Um, this one is extremely comfortable and it, it, it's weird. The thing about rigs are, you know, when you hang a rig on yourself and, it, and it's like suspenders, it, it this one rides right underneath your armpit and this rides hmm, maybe mid-abdomen. It, it, you always know you have your handgun on you. And, and that's a weird thing. Like, it just, it, it kind of hugs you. It, it, does that sound weird? It just feels like you feel it under your clothes. You feel it hugging you. You, you know you have your firearm on you. Not in a bad way. It, it's, it's not uncomfortable. It's not cumbersome. It's not extremely heavy. It just, it kind of embraces you. Man, that really sounds weird, but it's the truth. It embraces you, and it, it form fits to your body, and it just it, it, it makes you feel more relaxed. Um, a lot of police used to have these Galco holsters. Uh, a lot, well, not not uh, beat cops, but detectives. I always used to see detectives uh, wearing these. Yeah, I had a troubled youth. I always got in a lot of trouble, so I saw a lot of detectives. <laughs> and they always had these Galco holsters, and I was amazed by how cool they were. So that's going to be my short video on the Galco holster. I'm not getting anything from Galco or anybody else or Clemeth Leather, nothing. I just try and put forth something that I think is really cool. So if you're looking for a good 
holster slash rig or whatever they're calling it these days. Um, the Galco is a decent, it, it's worth the money. Um, when I originally got it, I had to, got it? <laughs> when I originally bought it, I had to uh, shorten it to the way I like it. You'll wear it any way you like. The, the straps are long enough uh, for extremely tall people. And when I first bought it, uh, the pistol would ride eh, a little above my belt buckle. And what I found was it was it was slopping around, it was flapping around. And I like it a little closer under the armpit. And it, it's more concealable and it's more comfortable. So that is my Galco. Uh, I'll give you the model number on here if I can find it. 202. The model number is Galco 202. You're not going to get the Harley uh, snap on it. That was my own addition. Later, guys.